And this is the Scandi Mama DIY for the easy chessy skirt. For this skirt, which is for a little one, I'm just going to use a short little piece of fabric, just 50 centimeters is enough. I'm going to make sure it's lying in four layers with two folds. And I'm then going to use another skirt to draw from. First, I'm going to make the tube lining for the waistband. So I'm going to cut a wide piece off here. I'm going to fold out the skirt just to see how wide the waist is. I'm going to take this piece of fabric again, fold it, and measure from the waist of the skirt. And there's going to be a little bit of extra fabric there just for seam allowance. And this fabric tube will be folded, there will be an elastic inside. For the skirt part, again I'm going to use the rest of the fabric and I'm going to put the skirt on to measure from. And this skirt will be a little bit wider and that's why the skirt is lying down to the fold of the fabric. I'm going to draw a line down along the skirt, go up a couple of centimetres and make a nice curve from the bottom to the bottom centre. I'm going to draw a curve again here on top, so just a couple of centimetres down to the centre point. And you don't have to do this, you can easily just make it a complete rectangle if you want to. I just like the little curve. Then you cut the extra fabric off with the scissors. And soon you have your skirt ready to sew together. These are the pieces. And now place the two skirt pieces, fabric facing front to front, and they need to be stitched together down the sides. And you can do it on a normal sewing machine, you can do a zigzag stitch before if you want to. I'm doing it all on my overlock sewing machine just because it's really, really quick. That was down one side, I make sure to go as straight down the line as I can, taking the other side. And done. That was the first part of the skirt. I'm going to do the opening of the bottom now. Use an overlock serger if you have one, if not, a zigzag stitch is also great. It's simply just to make sure that the ends of the fabric, the edges, won't fray. So to keep it nice and neat. And it's lovely and quick on the machine, so it hardly takes any time. The skirt here, now we're ready to put the waistband tube lining on. So this fabric is being folded front to front and I stitch it down the side to create the tube. So I'll fold it out so the fabric is facing out towards the front, fold it on the middle and the two edges are aligned. Then fold this down on top of the skirt on the outside of the skirt. Use some clips or some pins to hold it in place. And make sure you distribute the fabric from the skirt evenly around this waistband tube. And now, it's time for a little break. Yeah, I felt quite thirsty here. Alright, and ready to move on. Thanks. Yes, make sure that the fabric of the skirt is evenly distributed around the waistband tube. And the clips help it hold it in place. You can also hand stitch it at first if you prefer to do that to make sure that you've got the same amount of fabric all the way around. Clips, thank you. Time to put it in machine. I place it, making sure that the end of the skirt 
and the two ends of the tube waistband lining are aligned so they're up against each other. So it's three layers of fabric I need to sew through now. And yes, that looks good. Looks like it's pretty even. Put it into the machine and I have the waistband tube at the top and then I can carefully pull that tube as I sew along to make sure that I stretch it the right amount. So only stretch the top bit just so it meets the fabric from the skirt where you want it to meet, where you've put the clips in, making sure that the side seams are aligned. And be careful of your fingers. Pulling, 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 fabric. And just hoping that the fabric will fit when I'm done, that there's not going to be a lot of skirt fabric left or a lot of tube lining fabric left. Ooh, and there wasn't, it was fine. Perfect. That bit is ready now. On to the next. Looking good. And now I'm going to finish off this uh, little nice skirt, the foxy jersey skirt. So I have an elastic band that fits the length or the width of the girl who's going to wear it. And then we put on this tube and I could have left an opening, but I didn't because I just finished it. But I'm just going to cut the smallest little uh, incision here with my little precision scissors. And it doesn't need to be very big. It can just be just maybe two centimeters. Nobody will see it. It will just be a little secret there on the, on the inside of the skirt. And then I'll put in the elastic band with a safety pin, pop it in there. Pop it in and take it all the way around through the tube. Could have also put the elastic in um, when I made the tube, made it just put it in there so it was already there. There's so many ways you can do this. I'm just showing you one of them. But I'm sure you can find ways of perfecting it. Make it much better. And then, yes, then there is that little um, cut opening, but um, I've actually used it several times before when I then needed to alter it, like put in a slightly uh, wider elastic or maybe narrow it a little bit if somebody just uh, got a lot taller all of a sudden. So I'm going to put the other end of the elastic onto the safety pin here so that the elastic can't run away into the tube lining. And then I'll just pull gently, not too uh, roughly, and make sure that the elastic isn't folded. Oh, where did it go? The opening, it went there. So yeah, make sure the elastic is nice and flat inside. It's really annoying when your elastic is kind of twisting and turning all kinds of different ways here. So it's facing in the same direction, lying flat, and I've got both ends out here. I'll place them with a slight overlap here, stitch it, cut the threads, and have time to pull again. Pull, pull, pull. And the elastic is lost inside the tube, and yes, you can see there is a little hole, but I'm sure my kid won't complain, and I wouldn't either. So that's the top done. Now we just need to finish the bottom here and I simply turn it a couple of centimeters towards the back and put it into the machine, just a normal stitch. And I sew 
right on top of the overlock edge. Because there is a little bit of a curve uh, on this skirt, I have to, yeah, I just have to twist it, or not twist it, I have to pull it a little bit as I go along. Make sure when I get to the side seam that the seams are aligned here. Thank you.